What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Michael Knapp Fishing. Today's video, we are going to go over a rod specific video again. Uh, we're going to be doing something that I don't really, I don't talk about a whole lot. Very rarely do we film doing it. Um, but it's something that I enjoy and uh, I have been asked about one or two times. So I figured we go ahead and cover it since we're kind of you know, we're in wedding mode right now, so I'm not really getting to film a whole lot. But uh, we're going to talk about spoons, the magnum spoons, the rod setup that I throw, real line, and what spoons that I like to throw. So we're going to roll that intro and we'll get into it, yes. Alright guys, so big spoons. This uh, this obviously is not a you know the biggest spoon you can get. I think this is a I don't know six inch probably six inch spoon right there. Um, this is a Ben Parker Ben Parker Signature Series spoon. Um, it's got some reflection to it, uh, and it does have the um, feathered treble hook back here. It is a relatively large treble hook. I do not run a stinger on mine, but I do run mine with a swivel up top. Uh, this is a 20 pound swivel uh, to ensure that it'll be able to take whatever shock I'm going to hand out to it. So as far as the setup goes, that's, that's what we're here for. We're here for the actual fishing setup, not the spoon. Let me just stick this back on there real quick. All right, let me turn this thing around. We are throwing this on a suppressor. Uh, everybody knows the suppressor is one of my all-time favorite rods. This is our high-end series rod from Old 18. Drop that down there. Um, this is a 7 foot 10 inch or 7 foot 11 inch. Which one is it? 7 foot 10 inch heavy action. And this is a moderate fast action rod. Um, we do make a 7 foot 10 moderate as well. Um, but the 7 foot 10 moderate is the deep cranking stick and it only throws up to a 2 ounce lure I believe. I'm all, I got this thing all tangled up now. One reason why I don't like throwing a spoon too often. <laughs> but uh, anyway, got the rod out here now, got everything all untangled. So the rod itself is... Um, it's not an overly large rod, and I know a lot of people are gung ho about like the eight foot rods. Um, I don't, I don't throw an eight foot rod. The seven foot ten is, is two inches away from an eight foot rod. Um, it's still all around a, a great rod for for this spoon, how, whatever you want to call it, spoon and dropping spoon. I don't even know what people call it now. I just call it throwing a spoon. Um, but it's got enough butt to it that when when you crack the spoon, you know, I don't know. I don't know where I learned this. I, I can't remember who I was watching, but I, I use a two-handed method when I'm jacking the spoon and really jumping it up off the bottom. And I'll actually use my left hand, this hand, to force it down so that I'm not constantly doing it with my right wrist. Because if you're constantly doing it with your right wrist, you're gonna have a lot of wrist fatigue and it's just gonna, you know, you're really gonna wear down very easily. So by doing it with this left hand like this, you're not flexing your wrist. You're using that whole arm to push it up and down. And that really allows me to be able to throw this thing a lot longer than I used to before I learned how to do that. So I've got the spoon paired with a 17, yeah, 17 pound test suffix advanced fluorocarbon. Uh, I know a lot of people are like, is that all you ever throw? 17 pound is my favorite line. Um, it is, it's just an all around great line for a lot of, a lot of techniques um so that's you know that's what i get majority of if you follow my instagram you saw that i just got 2500 yards of 17 pound test fluorocarbon um it's just what i like to use so i'm gonna use it however i like it you know so y'all y'all pick what you want i know some people throw it on braid uh some people throw it on like 20 25 pound i just i like 17. 
So as far as the reel goes, I think this is gonna be a little bit of a, of a shocker to some people. Um, this is a Daiwa Tatula, but this is a 150. Um, I went with a bigger reel. Um, that way I was able to get a little bit more line capacity on there because I will drop this spoon down into 60, 70 feet of water. Like it doesn't bother me, I'm not afraid to, you know, if we get a wild hair, we're like, hey, let's go try and find some striper. Um, I'm not afraid to drop this thing down there. Like it doesn't bother me. Um, I do have it paired, or I do have it set up with as a 7.31 gear ratio. It is very, very fast. Um, yet again, this is one of those baits that you're not using the reel to work it. You know, you're gonna throw it out there and let it sink and do its thing fluttering down and you're just gonna be popping it a lot like a jerk bait. So this, the gear ratio doesn't really matter in your reel. You know, yeah, you could make the argument that you want something a little bit lower for the resistance and get a little more torque out of it. Doesn't really bother me any. When I'm fishing a spoon, majority of the time, I've seen these fish hit it and they'll run one way or another. Um, so I like to be able to, you know, pick up a lot of line and be able to catch up to them rather quickly. So that's why I go with a little bit of a faster gear ratio. You know, the, the rod overall, you know, you got the, you got the wind grips down here, black and gray paint scheme on it that I absolutely love. We do have the double locking reel seat down here. And uh, yeah, so that's that's pretty much everything uh, on my rod setup. We may go into detail of how to fish it and all that jazz once we get back out on the water. I don't know if it'll be spoon season by the time I get back on the water or if we're gonna be full blown, you know, late fall, pre-winter. I'm not sure where we're gonna be once we get back from the honeymoon and everything, uh, but I promise you, we will get to that sooner or later. It may be uh, next summer, but we'll get to the spoon jacking videos very, very soon, as soon as I can. Guys, if y'all like these videos, do me a huge favor, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, leave me a comment down in the comment section below. Let me know where you're watching from. Let me know if y'all throw spoons. Is that a little spoon for you or is that a big spoon for you? I wanna know, because I do have you know, the little three inch spoons and I do have the big old 10 inch Magnum spoons as well. So uh, anyway, guys, y'all ever see me out on Cherokee, Douglas, Watauga, South Holston, anywhere, bright blue Falcon, white pine marine on the side. It's hard to mistake me. Come say, hey, we'll talk a little bit of fishing. Take care, everybody.